live on this camera. <laughs> I am in the kitchen. And I am making pumpkin and sauce raviolis. It's coming from a package. I'm not making this sauce up myself. But I'm making this sauce up by myself. Um, first, it says to bring your water to a boil. So we've got our water right here getting nice and hot and boiled. And it says bring four quarts of salted water to a boil. I'm only using a quart and a half of water because that's the pan size I'm using. So I'm already not following directions. So we're gonna see how well this works out with not following directions. Mm -hmm. While we're waiting for the water to boil, brings me to our next subject is not following directions. How many of us have not followed directions that we've been given? Either by your spiritual being, you know, high being, or by your mothers or grandmothers. Children, are you listening? <laughs> Directions are there to guide us so that later we don't have to add more water to make this boil the way that it should. However, I'm not following directions because I didn't want to get a bigger pan because I like the shape of this one. Look at it. It's cute. How many of us have gone for a guy just because it was cute and then realized we didn't have enough water to boil the raviolis in because we didn't follow directions or we just didn't follow the guidelines that were set before us, right? So it's really interesting to use this analogy of boiling water, following directions, and doing the opposite. But we can add water. But we're waiting periods for the dot dot. <laughs> Boil. Anyways. See how long I can keep silent. So I'm just curious while we wait for this water to boil. Um, how are you guys doing? You having a good day? It's Sunday, you know? Did you go to church? Did you talk your grandma into taking you to church? I went to church. And then I came home and I did my Bible study. I'm studying Luke. I'm in chapter one. And already there's so much that I'm learning and I can just share with you is that what happens in the first part of Luke is Zacchaeus, he's a priest, right? And um, he's got this wife, Elizabeth, who is um, actually Mary's cousin. Okay. If you know anything about Jesus, uh, she's also the mother of of John the Baptist, right? So what happens in the first chapter of Luke, if you don't know, is uh, Zacchaeus goes in and he comes from the lineage of Aaron, okay? And he's a priest and he goes into the temple. Um, it's his first and only time to ever light incense in the temple for the Lord. And so um, he goes in 
and an angel of the Lord appears to him and he's like, fear not, Zacchaeus. I'm here to give you some good news. Your prayer from the Lord's been answered. And Zacchaeus is like, oh no, I'm scared. And he's like, no, don't fear. Like, I'm Gabriel. What's up? I'm here to let you know that your wife, Elizabeth, who's barren, is totally about to have a child. Like, she's going to, God's blessing her, and he's going to lay his spirit on her. And she's going to come with child. And congratulations. You should name him John. He's going to be, like, the forerunner to the Messiah, Jesus. Except for Gabriel didn't tell him Jesus' his name. He just told him. That holy one, you know, the one's gonna be born. You should go check out your uh, cousin Mary afterwards. <laughs> when you get the good news, go share it with her. So, anyways, so Zacchaeus, before he even leaves the temple, he's like, can't speak, can't hear. Like he says, Gabriel says, you're gonna not be able to speak until this miraculous event happens, and then you'll be able to speak again. Okay. It's not boiling yet. It's almost there. Do you leave the lid on or do you leave the lot off? I think it's nice to leave the lid on sometimes to let it kind of get hotter. You know, it's like the atmosphere lit it. You don't want to release it because you want it to get hot faster. You know what I mean? Ventilation. So here we are. So then, so far, uh, Elizabeth, she's like five months pregnant. She's like, I don't want to let people know I'm pregnant. You know, first trimester and a half. <laughs> like, you're just going to keep this on the low. Um, so, anyways, then what happens is she goes and sees Mary. She's like, Mary, oh my god, my belly leaped whenever you came in here. How your voice, it, it leaped. And it was filled with the Holy Spirit. Isn't that awesome? And John the Baptist, water baptism, guys. We're going to get further along into that. Our water is starting to boil. I'll keep you updated on this Luke thing, though. I'm only in chapter one. You know, I think it's interesting, though, that uh, Zacchaeus, right? Hear me out, right? So Zacchaeus, is um, his house was in the south of Jerusalem, and then Jesus was born in the north of Jerusalem. How interesting. North and south, cousins. Yay. And um, that is what I know so far that I will share with you. Because as the water gets hotter. I think I need to get a steam on my face. Steam bath over here. It's like the water baptism, but of the air. <laughs> Just kidding. But we like to make things funny, children. Hi, babies. I love you. And I figure if I can't teach you where you are with you right next to me, then I will teach you from afar. And so here I am, not so far away, am I? Yay! So let's go ahead and open our package. Check it out. They're called Brianna. Okay, mm hmm. You see here? Yeah. That's a little package. Um, only 520 calories for this whole serving. You know, I'm gonna eat all thing. Like, who wants to just eat two and a half of these bad boys? work out the calories later, do some extra squats, you know, and some jumping jacks and all that stuff. It helps keep us fit and some crunches, riding on our bicycle, staying fit and outdoors. That's what we do when we eat more than what we should. <laughs> Anyways, um, water's doing great. It's not all the way there yet. It's still boiling. That's why they said four quarts. And I did it one and a half. But anyways, this is pumpkin and sage. It's not pumpkin and sauce. It's pumpkin and sage. And it's savory blend of slow roasted pumpkin, fine cheeses, and tossed sage. Dinner ready in four minutes. Gold superior taste. 
I'm golden. I am the golden child in my lineage of daughtership. I am golden. And so are you. Little gold pieces, you. Anyways, let's see. Dun, da, da, da. Pills back. If you want to use your tea, go ahead and mean. Probably shouldn't use my tea. It's not really working. Let's just get the knife out, shall we? Yes. Um, make sure that you keep your sharp ends away from you. <laughs> so you're not to cut your fingers. And away from your body. So you don't like, oh, I'm so, I fell on my own sword. Then they'll call the police and say you're waving a knife around. I don't know. Anyways, water is boiling. Let's go ahead. And we're going to separate these things and drop them in one at a time. Look how pretty. You see how pretty these little pumpkin ravioli things are? Super pretty. Yes, my hands are clean. And I'm boiling off anything else that was not clean. Okay. So therefore, it's clean. Clean. Oh, we did not add salt to our water. So let's go ahead and go get some salt right now. It did say salted, and we don't have to have it very salted, but look. One, two, three, four. <sighs> okay, that's good. Probably too much already, but whatever. Did you know to cure things? Like your meats or your other things that you might cure um, is half salt and half sugar. Mm. Wonder if I'm the sugar to the salt of the earth. Sweet. Oh, I think I might be sweet and sour. Can that be true if there's like a mix in the divisions and stuff? Sometimes it's nice to have a little salt with your sugar. Just saying. Sugars, I love you girls. All right, so we have four minutes on the timer. Here we go. Four minutes for me, I'm a four. Not like a four on a one to 10 scale, but on a one to five. Yeah, I'm like half. Jesus Christ, loves me still. Four minutes, just being funny. So, um, should we eat some popcorn while we wait, or is that ruining it? I have Kai sitting on the stove. Might as well eat your sweets before your meats.